the IEC 2022 is special because it looks forward to reach beyond the space community and bring together all communities that could benefit from space and offer them opportunities uh, for networking and forging new contacts and potential partnerships. Interaction with the non-space sector, I think, is very important and new. And uh, we are expecting about 7,000 participants, likely more. International cooperation is really an essential element. And Russia and China have announced uh, the future development of an international lunar research station, uh, also to support long and also short term missions uh, to the moon surface orbit and with anticipated crude landings uh, after 2036. So also China and Russia are actively looking to add more international partners. So many of the planetary missions and also astronomy missions, nearly all of them are done in international cooperation. And I think even there has always been competition as well. And it is not always bad, you know, in, in order to have competition. And why we hope that these large scale endeavors uh, for the future, that international cooperation will always play an important role. Well, I think everybody is very impressed uh, how fast uh, the China space station is constructed. We all know that uh, China is actually seeking scientific cooperation uh, with many partners and has cooperation agreements, for instance, with the United Nations. Adding a new laboratory module will provide a pressurized environment for researchers to conduct a lot of science experiments in uh, zero gravity. So uh, this is certainly very important for uh, scientists uh, all over the world. An international space station with end of lifetime is approximately 2030. And that actually the China space station is ready for research right now. I think that fits in very well in the international context.